Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you a quick comparison between SSDs and HDDs. SSD stands for solid state drive and HDD stands for hard disk drive. As we all know SSDs are quite expensive and for the price you get a pretty low capacity, while HDDs offer much bigger capacities for the price. But what about the performance difference? Is there any difference in speed in a real world situation? In this video I'll cover this up. So I'll compare this Corsair Force 3 120GB SSD against the Western Digital Kiwi Blue 500GB CD 6GB per second 7200RPM HDD. The first test is the Windows boot up time. So I use pretty similar systems here so that the only real difference would be the drive being used. On the left screen is the system with the SSD inside and on the right screen the system with the traditional HDD inside. And now let the race begin. Good, so both PCs have entered the Windows boot screen, but on the left where the SSD is installed it goes a little faster so far. While the system on the right with the HDD still is at boot screen, the SSD is on the desktop already running the startup applications. Looks like the SSD is only a few seconds away until finished, and now it's done in just 26 seconds. Now we'll see how much longer it takes to boot up with the HDD. Looks like it still could take a while. So far we've seen a really really great benefit in the SSD. Lots of people want to access their computer almost right away and this looks pretty good so far. Of course it's depending on which applications and operating systems are installed, but in my case it's Windows 7, Kaspersky Pure, Speedfan and CoreTemp. So not too much, but still Kaspersky Pure is quite a heavy task, especially at startup. Still, the HD is on the welcome screen for the last few seconds. Of course not every traditional HD is that slow or even that fast depending on what you're used to. In my case I just grabbed a pretty standard drive, not too bad but also not too good. Now it's past the welcome screen but it'll hang at the blank screen for a few seconds now until it reaches the desktop. Finally it's starting to run these startup applications that I already mentioned before but obviously the executions of the programs take longer than on the SSD which loaded up the applications very quickly. I know, I could just speed the procedure up so you don't have to wait, but on the other hand then you might not feel the difference. I want you to feel the difference just like you'd sit there in reality and wait for it to complete. And I promise it'll not take long anymore, but still the difference is immense already between these two drives. And now it's finally done, it took 1 minute and 49 seconds, so with the HD it took me 1 minute and 23 seconds longer until I could use the computer. Now to the next test, which is the Windows shutdown time. The shutdown button is clicked at the same time on both systems of course. And which drive do you think will win this race? Well you guessed right, the SSD wins of course with around 10 seconds, while the HDD needs a little longer and it's done in around 15 seconds. So the HDD is almost 5 seconds slower than the SSD in this test. The next test is file copying. On both systems I created two folders. In folder 1 there are two files that are 3.6 GB large. And what I'm going to do is copy these two files and paste them into folder 2 which is empty right now. Both systems will do the exact same job with the exact same two files. And let's see which drive wins if it's not already clear. Surprisingly the HDD makes a big jump right at the beginning and blows away the SSD but let's see how that continues. Both drives move forward but the SSD gets a little faster but didn't reach the HDD's transfer amount yet. But it's getting closer and closer and suddenly the HDD hangs and only copies slowly compared to the SSD with its constant transfer speed. And just a few more seconds for the SSD to complete while the HDD is hardly moving at this point. Just a few more megabytes and it's done in roughly 49 seconds. The HDD still hangs there and doesn't transfer very fast right now. So far what I've tested and you saw that yourself, the SSD beats the HDD by far in lots of tests or all of them. So you really got to think if you need a HDD or maybe a SSD, which will do the same work a lot faster. It's the price that makes the decision hard. Right now at the time of this video HDDs aren't very cheap as well, so you might as well just go with a SSD instead, but losing the rich capacities. 
The best thing would be a combination of a SSD as a boot drive with some key applications on it and a separate HDD for the rest of the apps and for main storage. And yes, as you can see it takes really really long compared to the SSD which is done for almost one minute now already. Luckily the HDD is almost finishing its work very soon there, but still it'll need some more time, maybe 30 seconds or so until it's done. So alone if you have to copy lots of files I'd really recommend going with a SSD instead of a HDD in this case since it can take really really long and just so you know once again these are just 3.6 GB so it's not small but not very large as well. Now it's almost done and it took the drive 2 minutes and almost 7 seconds which is 1 minute and almost 18 seconds slower than the SSD. And the final test is the program execution. First is Google Chrome and you see the difference right off the bat. Even the page itself loads faster. Second is Mozilla Firefox and of course again the SSD wins because the page itself also loaded faster. Third and last is Sony Vegas Pro 10 which also loads up a lot faster on the SSD compared to the HDD. So video editing will be a lot easier and faster with a SSD. Alright and these were all the tests I wanted to show you. I hope I didn't bore you to death but I really wanted you to feel the difference. So the SSD definitely wins everywhere when it comes to performance but not the capacity of course. So if you need to do a lot of video editing, photo editing and copying, a SSD definitely is a must for you then. If you just need basic storage, a standard HDD will do it for you. So I hope I could help you with these comparisons and I'd like to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.